Hey guys, what's up? This is Dan Base Games, and today I'll be doing something a little bit different, something that I haven't done for about a year, which is make a super card, like tips, tricks, tutorial sort of video, and I kind of think, you know, I've had a lot of questions from my streams, and I thought, you know what, it's kind of time to make a little mini tutorial series for it, so uh, we're going to start off today with something uh, that's brand new to uh, Supercard in Season 7, depending on when you're watching this, it might be totally different, but dusting, a brand new thing, a way to recycle the cards, your draft picks, into an exclusive draft board, which does give you the opportunity to get really, really good cards including tipples on a semi-regular basis and the question is and i know why you're here for the video is how do you dust as quickly as possible and the simple answer of it is you got to use your super coins there's nothing else to it anything that gets your draft picks and super coins the best way to go super coins the most effective way for a very very quick grind is money in the bank but we're going to talk about a few other things first and the best ways to go about getting yourself the dust board filled up pretty quickly and if you go on to enjoy this video please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to see more tutorial videos more supercar pack openings and a variety of other content mostly Supercar, but we might introduce some other mobile games and some other stuff alongside it, of course. And check all of this out live on twitch.tv forward slash games. right? into the tutorial. Anyway, the best way to go about it is to play game modes that have the most draft picks as the rewards. Um, I don't know about Ring Domination, that hasn't been into it, you know, the game, it's not been out that long for Ring Domination to test it, it might be super OP in Ring Domination, at the same time, might not be, but if Ring Domination were double picks per match, that could be sort of a very OP thing. Anyway, um, essentially games that will give you the most um, for your time in your bout is Royal Rumble of course and Elimination Team. They give you roughly 12 draft picks if you win and slightly less if you lose. Either way you still get a fair few draft picks but the very very fastest way to do it is by playing Money in the Bank. There's two other methods of course to grind these out one of which is in TBG. So for example my team here is currently a top tier team which is WrestleMania 37 at this time and if we win a TBG we get 725 super coins and in the store you can buy one very OP pack which just so happens to be a draft pick pack. It happens to be 45 super coins for 25 draft picks and that's very very cheap in terms of farming out things to dust so with 725 at the total you can buy more than 10 of these packs almost 20 of them so you're looking at somewhere between 250 and 500 draft picks just for winning tbg which is quite a lot in terms of dusting that's probably going to be enough to get you nearly a tier pool so if your tbg rewards don't necessarily give you a top tier card this could be a way to replace it and potentially get yourself a top tier card the fastest way though if you want an immediate payoff for it is money in the bank so simply start up money in the bank, you get five draft picks. If you win money in the bank, you get yourself 50 super coins, which is enough to buy one of those packs. So essentially every money in the bank game you play and win for a full 50 tickets, you can get yourself 30 draft picks. A game lasts roughly two minutes. So in the space of playing the game for 10 minutes in the morning before you go to bed, that sort of thing, you can get yourself a good like 150 draft picks. And that's pretty good. That's going to do most of the dusting for you. A fair share depends again on what you get. We'll, we'll go into that as we finish this up. While we are playing through Money in the Bank, though, I would love to know a few things from you guys in the comments. What do you think of dusting? Are you a fan of it? Do you think it's balanced well? Personally, I think it's balanced really, really well. So it's not OP. It's not too strong. It's not too weak. That sort of thing. This method is probably the closest you can get to breaking it in a way, but it is still a very, very fair way. If I don't get good things out of the draft picks, then it still takes me a longer time. It's not, There's no way to do this super quickly, but this is definitely the fastest way to do it. My favorite thing about it more than anything else, though, is the fact that there's actually a use for the draft picks that I get that I don't want when there's neon cards, gothic cards, that I don't need to combine for new catalog stars, that I don't have anything to train up with, I don't just have to throw them away on random cards anymore, I can actually put them to a purpose, which means I feel more inclined to play the game on a more regular basis. And that is something that I really, really, really vibe with. But feedback for WWE Supercard, I love this feature. I think it's great. If you're going to introduce anything else like this in the future, I'm very, very excited to see it. And of course, I'm going to make more videos on that too. Just as a quick reminder, if you are enjoying this video, make sure you do hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and general Supercard pack openings and other content along those lines. And of course, you can come watch all of this live on twitch.tv forward slash games. Anyway, here we go, final match in Money in the Bank. It's about to claim our 50 super coins, which we are then gonna spend with the five draft picks we get from this to add to the 25 we can buy with the rest of the super coin. So super, super easy. So there we go, there's the 25, it's double because we won. I got the championship and that makes 50. Add it to the five draft picks we got. It makes for a lot of draft picks. Next step from there is then to go into rewards, scroll all the way down to the bottom and just buy yourself uh, some of these 45 uh, credit draft pick packs for 25 draft picks these are really really good if you have a lot of super coins like i've got up here or more i mean i haven't really got a lot lot but i got a fair few you can grind through like dust boards back to back to back in like one sitting if you really really wanted to but essentially from that one money in the bank game there i was able to accumulate 31 draft picks which is a lot towards getting myself uh the dusting at this point i currently need about 200 
to get myself on the board, which is good. I'll show you what that looks like in a second for those that haven't already seen it prior to this. But here we go. Essentially, when you go through dusting as well, depending on the tier of the card you've obtained, you get a certain amount of points. So WrestleMania 35 at this current time is worth 25. Shattered is 20 because it's a lower tier. Neon, even lower than that, is 15. Cataclysm, because it's higher, is worth 45 and so on and so forth. It's pretty straightforward to do. And essentially, once you go down the bottom, you can see your total down here, which says 170 points that we're about to dust, which is not quite enough for me to fill off that bar. Dust that whole lot. Actually saying that, I've missed one. Kevin Owens, again, that is ridiculous. I'm now one, I'm five points away from it. Amazing. <laughs> Thumbs up for that, missing it by five points in the tutorial way. How only I could do that. Only I could do that. So essentially, we'll keep it super simple. We'll go one more. And just like that, that will be enough to dust it. 15 points. That hits us to the total of 6,000, which then entitles us to our exclusive draft board pick, which you get in this fancy little pack, of course. You open it up, and a really cool looking draft pick thing comes out. Love the look of that. You take it, and it takes you to a brand new draft board, the favorite thing. Essentially, these are top tier cards. Your reset tends to be a tier pool, which is fantastic. So again, this is a method to really level up your cards very quickly. And second to that, generally speaking, you don't really get low tier cards. So far, I've done about six total cards off this draft board. This will be my seventh. I've got one rest many 37 tier pool out of it uh the rest were all royal rumble 21 cards so the tier right below apparently you can go down as low as behemoth which i'm sure i'll show you in a second but generally speaking this is a way to fi farm top tier cards and if you don't get what you like out of it you can always dust that too so for the sake of it we're gonna go in the middle here which is a behemoth johnny gargano again not anything we particularly want i kind of feel the way that johnny gargano's face is looking back at me kind of bare but either way it's pretty good i can dust that card now and it works going back into my new set of cards i don't want him Dust him for 510 because he's a high tier card. And just like that, we're on our way back to another 6,000 to try for another pick and potentially another tier pool. But yeah, essentially that's it. It's as simple as that on how to farm through dust stuff, work your way around super coins the best you can, play any game modes that offer you the most draft picks as possible. You know, that can change depending on whether it's a flash event for things like ring domination, you put double pickers on, all sorts of stuff like that can come into play with it because you get more draft picks, all that sort of stuff. But it's all about the amount of draft picks you get. The more you get, the faster you farm it, the better you go. Super coins, again, are very, very good because you can buy those Packs. Anyway, if you did find this video helpful, please be sure to give it a like, of course, and subscribe to see some more WWE Supercard tutorials. Let me know down in the comments any sort of tutorial videos you would like to see next. I've got several years experience playing this game, and I would love to make some more tutorials on it. It feels nice being able to help out the newer players to the game, and hopefully help them find the interest in it that I did several years ago. But until that point, I'm going to leave you with my first tutorial back in over a year, and I hope you have enjoyed it. It's been fun making it. But until the next video, we'll see you in chat live on twitch.tv forward slash games, and we'll check you out in the Discord. All the important links are down below but until next time bye bye